Hey and welcome to Neverwinter with Aragon. So we have some news from the developers with some changes to companion equip bonuses. You may have seen my video I posted about a month ago about companion bonuses like the Scorpion, Netherese, etc where you would gain additional damage on a hit. People would question whether this would be good versus the Neverwinter Knight. And so I had tested out all of those to see how well their damage was performing. And unfortunately, it was very miserable. You can see the best one there was like the Death Slad at only about 1.4% overall damage. This compared to the Neverwinter Knight giving over 4.4% total damage just was not any comparison then. There was no question what to take. However, with recent news from Brett Norton, the executive producer, we have confirmation they will actually be fixing these. They will be changing them to work properly. The big issue that was with them, that plagued all of them, was the fact that the additional hit was not scaling off your stats. It would say it could deal 150 magnitude. You might think that's great and everything, but it was terrible because it was only considering your damage stat here nothing else and then it was getting deflected and mitigated by the enemy's defense and thus it was dealing a lot less damage than it should you can see some changes in the post here for example the spine devil it's now going to have a 25 percent chance on encounter hit to release a hail of spikes dealing 120 magnitude damage but the big thing here is this effect can only occur once per second when we check in game, we can see the current level of this power is a 10% chance on encounter use to cause those hail of spikes and dealing only 75 magnitude damage. But there's no limit on how often it could trigger. But 10% chance was pretty low and you were never going to get more than once per second anyway. Another change here is shown with the baby owl prayer. 10% chance when you fail to critically hit to do an additional hit for 225 magnitude. Again, can only occur once every second. And this has been a big improvement from, as we could see here, when you fail to critically hit 10% chance to do 150 magnitude damage. But again, this could trigger more than once per second. But to be honest, at 90% crit chance these days, this power is not great, and I don't see the updated version being great either. However, the Swine Devil looks pretty decent for multi-target damage. When you're in fights and you're a class which can use a lot of encounter powers, so like Bard, maybe they won't fix Path of Blades on the Rogue, that it will be considered an encounter power on each hit. Then this will be really busted, but they'll probably fix that. Anyway, it'll be really good in AoE for classes which can use a lot of encounters. They're fixing the cleric encounter power, searing javelin to not need a target. And that's going to make it be very good within AoE. And that will be able to trigger that bonus a lot as well. So overall, we should see a significant improvement in a lot of these powers. If we look at, let's say, the Death Slad, how was that working? 10% chance to infect your target with poison, dealing damage, stacking up to five times, and after the fifth stack, they would explode, damaging all enemies within 15 foot radius. This could be really good. It was the top performing one on my list of damage bonuses, followed by like Suda and the Remoraz and Tomb Spider. So don't be surprised if all of a sudden the prices in these companions skyrocket for a time until the market balances again with people trying to predict what will be good with the changes. We don't know yet. We can only see again two of the upcoming changes with the Spine Devil and Baby Albert. For all we know, they can reduce the effectiveness of everything else. The death side could become even worse than before. But overall, it will be a big improvement if these abilities can scale off your stats properly. That will give them a massive damage buff from what we would see on this chart. You can see it's like massive the difference. If you're to go from a power magnitude of 150 and have it go from not scaling with stats to scaling with stats, you see the difference there. You go from like 16, nearly 17,000 average damage to 274,000 average damage. Just a massive increase of like 1,500%. That's just absolutely insane. But it will mean that we very well may see a companion bonus which will shake up the meta. 
So right now, the meta is to run with your tame Draptor, your Minskin defense, your Neverwinter Knight in offense with the Batiri, and then like the Alchemist or some other utility stat companion. You just run stats and damage bonuses, and that was it. Nothing else of them was good. And so if this change is implemented properly, it's going to make a lot of other companions very viable in terms of damage, if not maybe even better than running like the Neverwinter Knight. Maybe damage dealers will try push for non-Raptor builds because we're already struggling to fit stats, at least in end game. And so we may look to running some other damage bonus instead. Again, like the Death Slap, like Suna, like any of the ones from this list. And that may not even be all of the ones from the list. I think there are a few missing. One or two I could not test because I don't have them. They're like super exclusive if we look in particular the snow leopard this is a companion i want to get my hands on 10 percent chance on a critical hit to cause your target to bleed for 75 magnitude over 10 seconds i was not able to test this it's super rare but with that said be prepared and we'll see what happens i will keep you guys updated do a bunch of testing when these changes are implemented on the previous server and we can actually test them. So again, a special thank you to all these channel members for their added support. And we'll see you guys around. Goodbye for now.